Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Wednesday, the 19th of December. I'm James Spann. We're looking good today, but a very active day tomorrow. And next week is a real forecast challenge uh, uh, as we uh, get around Christmas time. Let's get in there and take a look. We'll start with some of the sky cam shots around the network early this morning where the sky is clear. Temperatures are pretty chilly across Alabama. That's the Trustville sky cam. Uh, some folks over in East Alabama are sitting at freezing this morning. Uh, there's the Jasper sky cam in Walker County. And up north, that's a look at the uh, Huntsville Sky Cam at Adtran as we look at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. You see those big Saturn V rockets. There's our big trough coming into the west, and that's going to kick up a big fuss over much of the nation over the next 48 hours. There's a look at those numbers. Uh, 32 at Fort Payne and Gadsden. Aniston, 35. It's warmer as you go off to the west. In fact, Memphis is sitting at 52. Is there in a south wind? And uh, clouds are increasing there, but we'll be in good shape today. Cold air flooding into the northern Rockies behind that uh, storm system. And uh, we're going to turn much colder here on Friday. In fact, we'll be uh, down in the 20s by Friday morning. That'll be a big difference. Ooh, yeah. That's a big storm. You can tell by looking at that, Matt. That thing is illuminated like a Christmas tree. You got winter storm watches and warnings all the way from the Rockies up into the Great Lakes. Blizzard warnings for parts of Colorado, Kansas, Iowa, and Wisconsin. Uh, high wind issues down into West Texas. And uh, we also note uh, wind advisories for the Tennessee Valley counties of extreme North Alabama. Tomorrow's going to be a windy day. And we'll see winds maybe gusting to uh, 35 miles an hour, even away from storms. Uh, in the warm sector, severe weather could break out later today and tonight to the west of Alabama. Uh, Memphis, Little Rock, Shreveport, Vicksburg, almost up to St. Louis. And uh, the bulk of that will probably start tonight. And then tomorrow, no change in the SPC risk. The slight risk is basically for the southern half of Alabama. And it looks like it's about south of the line from Tuscaloosa to Calera over to uh, Heflin. Uh, roughly along and south of Interstate 20. And even in North Alabama, we're going to see some gusty storms tomorrow morning, no doubt about that. And again, we'll take a look at the specific threat coming up. And this is the rain for the next seven days. This is this new uh, HPC product. So this carries us all the way through Wednesday morning of next week. And this takes into account the rain we are expecting tomorrow and the rain that we are expecting early next week. And this is showing rain amounts of over two inches here. So a lot to talk about. Let's just take it day by day, and then we'll answer all your questions here. This is the global forecast system, the primary American model, valid at noon today. This is the 06Z run. You can see the troughing off to the west. And down below that, we'll have a nice day today. And while we enjoy a sunny day with a high in the upper 60s, look at the big snowstorm out there in the uh, Denver and Colorado, New Mexico, up into uh, parts of Nebraska. And that big snow is just going to keep on running up through the middle of the nation, up toward the Great Lakes tomorrow night. All right, Thursday, very dynamic trough. Doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Now, uh, down below that, the surface low is near Chicago, under 990 millibars, with a trailing band of showers and storms along the front. Much colder air blowing in behind it. And again, there's your blizzard conditions for parts of Iowa and Wisconsin. Uh, that'll be a big old mess right there. All right. Uh, look at the four kilometer NAM. This is at 9 a.m. And uh, you can see storms should be in progress over much of the state. The back edge of the storms approaching the shoals. And then by 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, it's all out of here. Uh, we're starting to, you know, starting. I mean, the, we've talked about this for days. The main window for storms, 3 a.m. until noon. S same timing. We're thinking by midday, the bulk of the storm should be east of here. And really, there's no change at all in our thinking. The, the primary limiting factor for severe weather is just the lack of instability. This is the projected lifted index at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, and there's just a, hardly any. The, the green, that's where you've got the surface-based instability, and you can see just that little tongue coming up toward Meridian, and that's about it. So uh, hardly any surface-based cape. The lifted index is barely negative. Uh, it really is not negative, and that's your limiting factor, uh, which is a fairly common you know, occurrence in these cool season systems like this. 
but the shear values are very high. Uh, this is the low-level shear, the bulk shear between the surface and 925 millibars, and that value is over 40 knots in the peak, or actually approaching 45 knots in the peak. So, you know, the one thing we've got to watch for are these little bitty spin-up tornadoes, low-topped. They're almost impossible to warn for. Uh, we had one back on December 10th in North Birmingham. Same thing could happen somewhere, but it's just, you know, it's like playing whack-a-mole. You can't catch those things. Uh, so we'll have to watch for that. This is the uh, EHI, the Energy Helicity Index, and, you know, there's just nothing there because of the lack of instability. And there's a projected sounding for a 9 o'clock Thursday morning here. And, again, look at the, the wind uh, uh, profile there. You can see that very strong veering of the wind with altitude. Uh, but the, the sounding is pretty saturated, and, again, it's not your classic severe weather look. So it's a marginal deal, but clearly some of the storms could bring in strong winds of, you know, 40, 50, Miles an hour, maybe higher than that in spots, and that could knock down some trees and power lines between 3 a.m. and noon tomorrow, so be aware of that. All right, Friday, ooh, boy, that's cold air advection. We turn cold. We'll say a high of about 49, still windy. We'll start the day in the uh, 20s uh, Friday morning. The uh, GFS is showing 28. Ouch. But at least the sun will be out. And look at potential for snow flurries down into uh, the mountains of East Tennessee. Just flurries. Saturday as we start the weekend, we'll start the day in the 20s. Uh, the daytime high should be in the mid-50s. And, of course, those temperatures are below average for uh, late December. And there's Sunday. A lot of people traveling this weekend. Again, just pick out your destination. The day here should be fine. Uh, Sunday morning near freezing. The high close to 60. Moisture starts to return a little to the west. All right, this is Monday, Christmas Eve. Uh, ooh, showers break out in a warm air advection pattern. Uh, if this is right, Monday would be a showery day with a high around 60. And let's go to Christmas Day, December 25th, high noon. Oh, boy, look at the energy off to the west. What's that going to do? Uh, down below that, evidence of rain mainly over the southern part of Alabama on Christmas Day. We've seen a lot of other looks. So a warm front will be kind of meandering through here, and where that warm frontal boundary is will kind of determine where the, the highest rain coverage will be, but no doubt we'll need to mention rain statewide on Christmas Day. Uh, but this is not a severe weather look at all. Uh, this would just be kind of a cloudy, rainy-type day, uh, the high – Oh, maybe at 60, just over 60. Or we could stay in the 50s much of the day, depending on the warm front boundary. But with this energy coming in, look at this new look from the GFS. All right, this is uh, Wednesday morning of next week, December 26th at 6 a.m. A surface low is near Demopolis. And that would be a soaker of a rain, but no severe weather. The surface low is too far south. In fact, you've got to start looking at snow here for Arkansas. Uh, and maybe parts of North Louisiana, B bigger snows would be in Arkansas if this is right. Noon Wednesday, the surface low is near Rome, Georgia. Very cold air floods in the Mississippi and West Tennessee. This is suggesting maybe the rain changing to snow for a brief time over Mississippi, and we've got the soaking rain beginning to taper off. And then 6 o'clock Wednesday evening, hey, evidence of the rain changing to snow over North Alabama. Wednesday evening of next week, like the day after Christmas. Are you kidding me? This is a look at the uh, snow depth that night. Uh, it doesn't have any here, but it's got, uh, look at all the snow on the ground over Tennessee and Arkansas and uh, big snows uh, for places like Cincinnati with this storm, if it's like this. But this is the first time we've seen this. The GFS started this on, on the OZ run last night, and it's continued. I'm not sure I buy this. Let's look at the European, which is much more reliable or most of the time in the medium range. Uh, this is valid uh, midday, Christmas Day, Tuesday, December 25th, and that looks just cool and wet. Uh, showers, no severe weather. Uh, highs uh, probably around 60. Cold air getting close. Let's go to Wednesday morning. At 6 a.m., December 26th, and by golly, there's some similarities here. It's got the uh, surface low northeast of here, very cold air flooding in here, and that suggests some chance of a few flurries on the backside of the departing system. 
nothing significant. And on the 27th, man, is it cold. The 540 line drops down there into the uh, uh, Gulf. Whoo, boy. Uh, there's a look at the 850 millibar temperatures, and that'll give you an idea of that cold air flooding in here. So both the GFS, the European, very high confidence on rain at times Monday and Tuesday and, and much colder, probably the coldest air so far this season coming in here uh, by the, the middle part of next week. And, you know, the only question is, will there be any severe weather? And really, both models are suggesting not really now. Uh, and both. And the other question is snowflakes. Uh, the GFS may be hinting an inch uh, where the European just got flurries, and I think the European idea would be better. But the, the confidence is low, obviously. But at least now we're not seeing a severe weather look like we've seen. But this is subject to change again. You know what I'm going to say? Let's get tomorrow's system out of here. We're just, you know, we've got to do that. We take them one at a time, and we will not have high confidence until uh, Thursday night looking at this thing next week. And one more quick note, uh, this is uh, the GFS on the Christmas, or I'm sorry, New Year's Eve, December 31st, evidence of another big cold shot coming in here. So it uh, looks like some interesting weather in the weeks ahead. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.